So, you've just bought yourself a 3D printer and you are wondering how to get started. Don't worry, we've got you covered. This is the unboxing of Zortrax M200 Plus 3D printer. The first thing you will need to do is to grab a knife and open up the box. So far so obvious. You will see the upper cushioning protecting the M200 Plus. On it, you will find manuals to help you get started, if you are too busy to watch this video all the way till the end. From the first manual you will learn how to properly unpack the 3D printer and how to set it up. You will get to know what's in the box itself, what the recommended safety procedures are when using the printer and what components the printer consists of. Inside the cushioning you will also find a power cable, a packing list, manufacturer's warranty information, a safety guide and support center leaflet and Zortrax product brochures. Now that we've got all the boring stuff out of the way, let's take the printer out. Leave the big setting up instruction on the table if you want. When you pull the printer out of the box, do not grab it by the rods or the belts, the shipping clips or the extruder. It's best to hold it like this. If you take off the foil, you will find that unlike the original M200, the Plus version already comes with the side covers installed. Take off the blue safety tape carefully. You've probably noticed that Adam likes to keep the working area clean. Remove one of the side covers. Now you can take out the bubble wraps and take off the shipping clips, which secure the extruder from moving while the printer is in transport. Take out the protective foam. Remove the starter kit. The foam and the starter kit are full of wonders. In the starter kit you will find the build platform, a scalpel, pliers, tweezers, a cutting knife, a spatula, allen keys, service grease, nozzle needles, nozzle key, safety glasses, material guide and extruder cable clamps, safety gloves. For now, leave the clamps on the table. You will need them in the setting up process. The foam contains a material guide, a spool of material, a spool holder and the heatbed cable. Keep the heatbed cable and the spool holder close as you will need them soon. After you cut everything out, you can lower the heatbed mount by pressing on these distinct points. Remove the safety tapes. Take the heatbed cable and gently plug it in like this. The new cable has been modified compared to the original M200 and now it is easier to plug it in and out, as the adapter inside the printing chamber helps you connect the heatbed effortlessly. 
install the build platform onto the heatbed mount. Remember that the platform with the 5 silver calibration squares should be directed up. Later, you can install the extruder cable. First, attach it to the holes at the back of the printer using the clamps from the starter kit. Remove the extruder top cover, an element which protects the cable from wearing off. Plug the extruder cable into the PCB. Now it's time to deal with the material guide and the spool that we've kept in the protective foam. Unpack the spool, get rid of that piece of paper and get busy. To properly set up the material, you will need to attach the material guide clamps to the extruder cable. Put the material guide through the clamps and fix it into the material end stop and the extruder. Now you can attach the spool holder to the back of the printer. Separate the two parts using the push to open mechanism. Place the spool on the spool holder. It should rotate anti-clockwise. Like this. Now plug in the power cable. And voila! Your 3D printer has been successfully unpacked and set up. You definitely deserve a high five!